Hello, this is Professor BRB, and in this video, we will be learning how to uh, do the second most common way of separating paragraphs, which is indenting the first line of each paragraph. And before we go further, we want to observe that it is not customary to indent the first line of the first paragraph of a story, such as we see up here or under a heading. The reason for this is that the indent uh, of each paragraph is meant to separate it from the previous paragraph, and there's no need for that separation here or here. So that makes a little bit of a complication because we actually have to create two paragraph styles, one for the first paragraph and one for each following paragraph. So before we start, uh, let's discuss the way not to do it uh, and get rid of two common errors. Uh, the worst possible way to do this indent is by simply typing a few spaces in at the beginning of every paragraph. This would become a very, very labor-intensive way to do it uh, in a long document. Likewise, just typing in a tab is not really the best way to do it. The best way to do this is through our paragraph styles. First, I will create a style for my first paragraph. So I'm going to put my cursor in here, new paragraph style, and I'm going to call it text no indent. And make sure apply style to selection. And when I look at my basic character format, so I can see that that's Adobe Caslon Pro, regular, 11-point type, and 15 points of length. Okay. And now I'm going to put my cursor in my second paragraph here and choose New Paragraph Style. I want it to be based on Text No Indent, and I'm going to call it text indent. Now when I go to indents and spacing here, I can see that I have the option of doing a first line indent. And the question of course is, how much should I indent it? Well, a traditional paragraph indent is one to one and a half M's. That's spelled E-M. And an M is a relative form of typographic measurement that is equal to whatever type size you're working in. We're working in 11 point type, um, which is just under one pica. So I'm going to make this one pica, which would be 12 points, and another five points. So that's about one and a half times the size of my type. So I'm going to click OK. I'll make sure I had checked apply style to selection. OK. And I can see now that that has been automatically applied to that paragraph. Now it is quite easy to just place my cursor in any following paragraphs and applying my indent automatically. You can see this has made a little bit of a problem up here for me. I'm just going to fix that right now. So now we have indents where we want them and no indents where we do not want them. And this is now ready for publication.